Hello everyone. In this video, I will explain to you the definition of a math function and several basic terms related with function. These terms uh, you may have learned before. Uh, so in this video, you can use it to recall the concept which you probably have learned before. So let's continue. Okay, let's start with function. Here is, it is defined that a function of real variable x is a rule that assign a unique real number to each real number x. So let's say we have variable x and then we have variable y, two variables, and the set of number in x and the set of number in y. And then we have the rule where y is equivalent to fx equal to 2x plus 1. So fx or the function of x um, is ruled by this rule. And x is the input and y is the output as a result of this rule. Okay. So here, for instance, we have min for x, we have minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, and 2. So that they say that the rule assigned of a unique real number to each real number of x. So uh, with this rule, minus 2 is assigned with minus 2 times 2, minus 4 plus 1 is minus 3. Minus 1 would be assigned with minus 1 times 2, minus 2 plus 1, minus 1, and then 0, and then this would be 3, this would be 5. So each x is assigned with one uh, number in y with the rule of fx, is equal to 2x plus 1. So a function is a rule. Another important um, term that I would like to uh, discuss is about the term variable. From the function, from this function, yeah, we have two types of variable. We have y and x. As I said before, x is an input. Because it's an input, it is independent. It's an independent variable. While y is an output. So it's an output which is dependent with x through the rule. That is why we can say that this is a dependent variable. Beside independent and dependent, variable, there is another term for a variable that is known as exogenous and endogenous. To understand more about exogenous and endogenous, it would be easier if we see it in a system of equation. So what is a system of equation? A system e of equation is an equation that consists of more than one function. If previously in our first uh, example, we only um, analyze one equation. A system equation uh, consists of more than two equation. For example, we have y the GDP equals to j plus e plus g plus x minus m. And then the second equation would be c equals to a plus b y. So this is the first equation and then this is the second equation. Now, which one is exogenous and which one is endogenous? To differentiate, uh, let's see from the first equation first. From the first equation, if we use the independent and dependent um, term, then y is the dependent and the rest here in the right side is the dependent. And um, while in the second equation, the independent is, the dependent, I'm sorry, is c and 
The independent is the y. Okay? You see here that in the first equation, y was dependent. But in the second equation, y is an independent equation. So it turns out that in this system equation, a dependent variable can be an independent variable. So rather than using independent and dependent, we usually use exogenous and endogenous. Uh, the one that is determined by the system in the by this equation in the system like the y and the c this both variable are the endogenous variable y here since y is endogenous although it's independent in the second equation it is not an exogenous yeah the exogenous are only i, g, x, and m because c in the second equation is a dependent variable so or an, uh, an endogenous variable. So here, um, to differentiate between endogenous and exogenous, endogenous are the variable that are determined by the equation in the system. Yeah? Y is determined by this equation. C is determined by this equation. While I, G, X, and M, there are no other equation that defines the variable of I, G, X, and M. So they are exogenous variable. The next um, term is about the domain and range. So uh, here we can say that domain are the set of numbers where uh, x belongs to or where the input input is from and the range are the set of value that are assigned or resulted from the function so based uh, on our example here yeah uh, the domains are the set of numbers which comes from the independent variable while the range are the set of numbers of the output or that are assigned from um that are assigned to x resulted by the function or the set of value that belongs to y that is about a uh, domain and range. Another term that uh, would be an assignment for you to find out on your own is what is codomain?